good morning, Tams fam. I'm going to remove my glasses because for some reason it's giving the glare and I don't like the glare. So, um, so anyway, good morning, Tams fam. I just want to get on here and say I apologize again for being MIA for quite some time. Anyway, I am here because I want to get right into the videos of what this whole channel is going to be about. So primarily, this is going to be about being an entrepreneur, okay? So um, I am currently working with other business like-minded individuals, specifically women. And we're currently, you know, working together to figure out how we can be bigger and better and, and just boss-like in this next year or two, right? So we're working together um, and I really love it. There's a mentorship program as well as a three-day challenge that I'm actually doing. So I'm super excited. But anyway, this video really is because um, there are things that I've learned why I've been trying to um, explore into being an entrepreneur. Hopefully one day I'll be a full-time entrepreneur, but right now I'm a part-time entrepreneur. However, I have a full-time heart and service for that particular area. So um, I am Tam. I am a travel agent. That is my um, that is my business. That is my industry. However, I am expanding that brand. So I would like to do all kinds of things. I have a lot of projects that are coming along and I'm super excited about it. But anyway, what I really, really want to understand is why are you choosing to become an entrepreneur? So I'm going to give you a little bit of reasons why I have chose to become an entrepreneur. Um, they, they say that when you're starting like a business or you're doing a journey, you always have to understand your why. And so honestly, my why is because I can get time freedom at some point. That's my hope and prayer. Um, as of right now, I am pretty much working and working and working for money, right? So I might have to travel for work, my nine to five. I might have to travel for three weeks back to back. I don't get to see my family. I don't get to spend the money that I made on the three week um, trip, you know, until I return. But, you know, I'm just looking for that freedom. I'm looking for that independence. And entrepreneurs can have the freedom to make their own decisions and shape the business according to their vision. And that's pretty much what I would like to do. You know, I want to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Don't get me wrong. I understand that when you have clients and when you have customers, you're technically working for them, but I like to have that decision-making point. You know, I want to be able to say, you know, no, I'm making the executive decision. This is the way I want the my company to go, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's kind of what I am looking to do. Um, also, innovation. Innovation, innovation, innovation. So I just want you guys to know I feel so super accomplished and so boss-like. So if you follow me on my Facebook or my Instagram, you will see how um, I mentioned that I had my first advisory board meeting. Super, super duper excited. Now, let me caveat that. My advisory board meeting was my mama and my kids <laughs> and my husband in spirit because um, he was at the football game. But anyway, what... What I loved about having that meeting is because it gave me an opportunity to bring new ideas, understand solutions, um, focus on things that's going to make a positive impact on society and get other sound advice. OK, because ultimately, I mean, I can have all the inspirations and visions for my business, but at the same time, I'm going to need a board to kind of help me out there. Right. So um, also personal growth. In this particular experience, this entrepreneur experience, I've realized that personal growth for me has just been a continuous journey. You know, I'm trying to understand all of the ins and outs about business. Like I said, I'm part of this three-day challenge and a workshop with other like-minded individuals. So to hear the successes and be around people who have already accomplished these things that I'm trying to accomplish is, is absolutely amazing for me. It, I just know that it's up from here and it's growth from here. So in case you wonder what I'm doing over here, I got notes right here. So I'm just trying to make sure that I stay on track because I don't want this video to be too long, but I do want to ensure that I give just a couple of pro tips as to why, um, being an entrepreneur is just so important to me. Right? So, um, 
what they say about problem solving, you know, you have to, you have to be able to solve a problem out there in the world. So my travel, granted, being in the travel industry doesn't necessarily solve a problem. However, I do feel like that traveling, maybe not the actual journey, like getting on the aircraft and actually getting there, having delays, screaming babies, you know, babies bumping the back of your seat. Not that part of traveling. But what I am stating is that, you know, when you get to wherever it is you're trying to go, hopefully it's a nice and serene and and peaceful place where you can feel like it's very therapeutic and, and create self-care, right? So ultimately, that is my goal for all my travel clients is that I hope that you experience peace and serenity wherever you do tend to travel. And those look different for different people, right? So I don't expect that one person who loves just the relaxing beach to have the same you know, outcome as someone who is more adventurous and love to go in the woods and hike and et cetera, et cetera, right? So, so, but they do say that entrepreneurship involves solving real world problems and addressing market needs. Now with my travel industry, I've always, uh, pretty much as YouTube um, channel is all about expanding the brand. So although travel, it, my travel industry is mainly, um, focusing on travel, self-care and, and ther therapeutic traveling um i'm expanding my brand to really do some um remarkable things i'm super excited about some of the projects that i'm going to be coming out with and stay tuned because i'm going to be sharing with you my whole journey about even doing that and so that's going to be a whole nother a whole nother playlist of uh uh videos now i understand i am currently in like step one of this thing but I just want to understand from your perspective, you know, why, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? I highly recommend everybody become an entrepreneur own your own business, whatever that, whatever that is for you. Because one thing that I do know is that God will make room for your gifts. Okay. If you are gifted and people are always coming to you about certain things, that's probably where, what you should nurture right? That's probably some things that, you know, you maybe want to dig deep down and understand really what you can do to, to help, what things that you can do to um, mitigate any type of issues if there are, right? And so if you have a gift and people are already coming to you for certain things, expound on that, expound on that. And so I'm going to push you because y'all my family, I'm going to push you to ensure that you try to start a business before 2024. That's just my thing. Okay. That is just my thing. I'm not, you know, I just think that everybody should do something for themselves and create a, a legacy for yourself. Just that's my dog in the back. Y'all sorry. If you can hear, um, but you got this, you know, make something for yourself create legacy, you know, solve real world problems. Okay. So anyway, this was just going to be a short video on why you should become an entrepreneur, um, explaining a little bit about why I became an entrepreneur. And I really want to push you guys to also become an entrepreneur because I just think it's important. You know, you can problem solve for just about anything and everything, but what, again, if you have a gift, God will make room for that gift. All right. So this was just a quick video to say, hey, guys, I know that I've been out for a while, but I am back. I am here. And so with that being said, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for liking and commenting and also subscribing because y'all been doing the thing. OK, y'all have been doing the thing. Thank you so much for supporting me and my family. And so. Again, just thank you and you guys have a good day. Bye.